Welcome back to the duck call room, the ladies. Duck call room. Well, I mean, we got a new coat of paint, and we're not. That's right. We. How do y'all like our new setup we got here? It's it kind of makes me feel like, whoa, that's good. And I want to live. I feel like I'm on the view. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> He's leaving. He said, if "This is the view. I'm out." Boys. Yeah, I don't. Out, boys, I said. don't think the view shares our view on much of anything. No, well, that's true. Except for maybe breathing, but um. <laughs> You know, that's neither here nor there. No, we are the traveling road show right now. And by road, I mean warehouse. We just go from podcast set to podcast set and we, we crash everybody's while ours is being redone. So I'm just trying to um, get comfortable, but I do have this pillow. Well, here you go, friend. But it's going to get real nice when they finish. It will be nice. Once they get it done, it will be Once better. our floor quits leaking water and this overwhelming smell of mildew that y'all can't smell at home leaves. But we um, sure can. It'll be fine. But, uh, you know, thanks. Sadie, thank you for letting us crash your party or your space. I, I assume you know we're in here. You may not. Um, I'm also very safe to assume that you're not going to watch this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thanking um, her is doing nothing right now because yeah. she's not listening. It makes me feel better. Um, also, Johnny we're D, in these, watch your leg. Yeah, we're in these weird couch, and I just got told to put my leg. Yeah, Johnny D, watch Apologies. your legs. Watch Apologies. your legs. Um, um, we do have. I we, feel like we should talk about important stuff in here. What, like deep? Like, like deep. No, nah, it's not us, man. Little problems and stuff. Nah. Coffee talk. Coffee yeah. talk? Mm-mm. No, what, that's you, not us. You want everybody in here to get to crying? Like, we. No, nah, well, it's just, this is such a serious room because Sadie does such a good job. Yeah. And we talk about if Skittles or Peeps are better Skittles, obviously. Yeah, I mean, but I think we should dance with the one that brought us. I, I don't our, think we yeah. should come in here and conform to our environments. Our uh, IQ, our combined IQ went up a few points when we walked in here. Well, so what is it about women in the color white? It is beautiful in here. It's so bright. Yeah, we like, do have a plant over here. Too. I can't it's see anything. Here. Yeah, it's it's Very so bright. It's so bright, but maybe that's what they're into. I can appreciate. It. It's what my wife did to our house. Painted she said it's wife. too dark in here, and everything's Loved bright now. Up. Yeah. I feel like if we took a nap on this couch, though, you'd wake up and think you might have accidentally gone to heaven. I guess you purposefully went to heaven, but you might have accidentally died in your sleep. <laughs> Kind of gives me the feeling of like all them straight jacket scenes you see in movie. This is the room people wake up in when they can't move anymore because they've done something weird. Uh-oh. One flew over the cuckoo nest. Yeah, there you go. That's right. But is that a real movie? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Like that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. I tell you what happens though. That W sauce pops up in here though. <laughs> yeah, Look we at, bring it. Boom! Everywhere we go. Yeah, we taking it with us now. <laughs> if we open right. that and start eating in here, Sadie's gonna kill all of us. If so we get it on this couch, we are in trouble. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> look, it. you know, W sauce. Our friends are. They sent me the sweet shirt, by the way. There's, How about that? that shirt. But they got breakfast sauce now. Like you but, pour on your eggs and sausage, and I'm just telling you right now. Look. They're getting you full service now. We're getting away from just dinner. We go into breakfast. We go into everything. Why is breakfast so, so delicious? Full menu. Breakfast. I don't know, but my favorite time to eat breakfast is like 8 p.m. Am I the only one there? Like, I love yeah. breakfast I for dinner. Eat, I really don't eat breakfast a lot, um, but I do like breakfast too. The best time to eat breakfast is 11 p.m. Ele- no. I say I'm not up at Far's 11 right. p.m. currently. It's between 7 and 9. Yeah. Like, p.m.? I agree. P.m. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy for dinner is no, no. unbelievable. A good <laughs> couple of eggs, <laughs> over easy, with toast, jelly. I'm over. Okay, and maybe hash browns on the side. I oh. good. Or good sausage, real good sausage. Oh. Hot Jimmy Dean sausage. Oh, okay. come on now. Yeah. Preach it. The problem is we're recording. Right the problem is we're recording this in the morning and we're talking about breakfast. So now I well, do I, want to go eat breakfast. I will pass three Waffle Houses when I leave here on my way back to work. So I might stop. Yeah, the sad. I, Wait, no, say, I would probably if yeah. I done that. I would. But you can see three. Tell me. Hey, you can. So I mean, you can go two, two two eggs over easy, please. I passed one With Waffle House on the way here, and I'll pass a different two Waffle Houses. Buttered leaving. toast with grape jelly. Okay. Great. I'm just listening. With real good Jimmy Dean hot sausage on the side. You're going to have to bring that yourself because that sausage they got at Waffle House ain't Jimmy it, Dean. It, oh, okay. All right. I, uh, but it ain't bad. bad. It's, it's Johnny Blue or something. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> No, it ain't bad. But Triple order a hash brown scattered, smothered, and covered. Yo, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be. We're tripling it. Yeah. We're tripling it. And throw two of them runny eggs on top of it. Just put it all in a bowl and let's call it good. Oh, but, man. okay, we're, we're, we've, 
Yeah, this I guarantee you, Waffle House has never been discussed in this room. Oh, that yeah. reminds hundred percent. It has been discussed in the other room. Yeah, that Never reminds me. me. I was in South Carolina, I think, doing an event, and we ordered BLTs <laughs> from Waffle House. Uh, no, 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 from room service. From room service, we nice ordered BLTs. Well, I'm I'm thinking, okay, real good bacon, yolk, biting into it, and I'm ready for. So I bite into this. BLT. Oh boy. And something foreign is in my I just I said, whoa. Spit it out. They had put a stupid fried egg in this BLT. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard well, time of Time out though. Yeah. Like I okay, but where's the problem? Where's the problem? I mean I get it's un no. I get it's unexpected. Because my mouth was unexpected. not ready yeah. for this. I was thinking bacon, lettuce, and tomato. What? So after 75 years of survival on eating anything that could come by, a man yeah. throws an egg on your sandwich and we got a deal breaker. Oh, yeah, but hey. I just, it it just, it was just, no. It, it charged was a shock, it, man. It was, shock, it was a shock. He said a runny egg? Just spit it out oh, no. like projectile. Boom. Yeah. And I thought, it was just, what happened? And then there's what Phil scooping the it up world? and bring it back home. Uh, no, but I, but I, I did eat it. <laughs> See? I knew it was on there after he spit it out. No, so I was like, I said, I mean, it's I said, did you eat the sandwich? I did. Did he? he just root this whole no. meal. No, no, he wouldn't eat it. After that, I had to call and tell him to take the egg off. Yeah, make me two and more and forget the egg. So you couldn't so just you like doubled it. peel no, the no, egg no, off and no. set it to the side? It really, it just, uh, you know, I, I would be, uh, I admit was in need of anger management. <laughs> Okay. It actually, it actually angered me okay. over an egg. Uh, you would I'm I know ruin over the BLT. incredible edible egg. Well, and and because we got back from an event and you were tired and you were hungry yeah. and you were ready for a BLT, yeah. and it just you know it's one of the things it wasn't it wasn't what I was expecting. When you, once you get your mind set on yeah. something, you know what I mean. So it's you're one of those people like if you it. order it with no tomatoes and they put uh, tomatoes, you have to send it oh, back. Yeah, you I can't just peel you know, the right. tomato off. Mm. You know, very seldom do I, I, I get uh, upset about something like that, but with food, yeah, that's upsetting to <laughs> if me. If you're hungry, that yeah, hungry. Yeah. If you you got one thing in your mind and then there's some, something else, no. You want to know how you end up as skinny as I? You send back food when that's the problem. You want to know how you end up like <laughs> no. me and John David? You just no, no, no. eat that. No, you're no, like, whatever you you consider the egg a happy accident. My daughter like, was in yep. this weekend because she was at some woman's event. <laughs> Oh, Tracy That's came in town. Said. She said, "Yo, my son is just my f oldest son is just like his grandpa." Yeah. God bless him. He, he he's on a diet. Brady's on a diet to gain weight. Yeah. Okay. That he, awesome. you know, I would be really can't good pick up weight. Diet. Yeah, I've never had to bulk. So to speak, <laughs> I would be so good at the gaining weight diet. Yeah. Oh man! Oh my goodness! How do, where do I sign up for that? Yeah, well, I think well, you have hey, to be Brady's on the other on. end of the spectrum. So the egg just threw it all off. Oh no! I, but I don't. I refuse to send food back. Like if you bring it to me. Well, I mentioned to I say mean, that that yeah. most of the time, if you cook it, you know, like I said, okay, I want it medium plus, and it's it's. Dry it out, you know. They made it medium or well, 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 well done. You know, it tastes like a boot. You know, well, then I just hey, wait a minute. Yeah, there's went too far. There's you only one thing deep. that's a deal breaker for me, and that's if I'm like no mayonnaise and they slap it all over. I'm like, no, nah, get that crap out of here. But don't bring me another one. I'm good. I'll just eat somewhere else. Yeah, because you don't want to risk it. Yeah, you don't know what's I'm out. Back. Yeah, I know I'm out. No. Hey, I sent some I food back to a restaurant and. 30 minutes later, when I got back to my office, I was sick for two days. Yeah. I'm just curious on Herbal what lax. would make Phil send something no. back. No. Like, One well, no, I'll tell you what it was. For fast, effective relief. It was <laughs> onions because I always, I don't, I don't want any kind of onions because it gives me heartburn. So I just start saying, hey, no onions. Done. I'm allergic to onions. Don't yeah. put onions Done. on Don't put them on there. I'm and allergic. So look, they put so many onions in my food. Reaction. I sent it back. They sent Reaction. it back. And then I guess I what probably ate food? some. Uh, a Bourbon Street steak. It was something like that, but it was chicken, <laughs> like a like a chicken. You know what I mean? Like a bourbon chicken. What, <laughs> where were you talking about? <laughs> Martin? I'm just talking about off Talladega Nights where Ricky oh. Bobby's dad gets all bent out of shape about the onions on his bourbon steak. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> once you, I like what Sai said. Once you have your mindset on something, uh, food or whatever. Now here's like, I will on, I, in defense of that though. The first thing I do when somebody gives me food, if it's in a sandwich form, I peek. <laughs> I give it a little uh, status check. You went in blind, so you gonna have to own part of trusting, that. Trusting, too trusting. Yeah, like, you should have let me take the first bite out of mine. Or just next time, what? or next time, maybe take the bread and kind of go. Oh, what's in well, there? No, I just, you know, it, was, it was just, it shocked me. <laughs> what would shock me was the tomato. Ugh. Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of that and put more eggs. Yeah, in I'm, I'm more of a B L E kind of guy. You can get rid of that T. I'm just right. a B E C, <laughs> bacon, <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese, yeah. baby. <laughs> you can tear it apart and eat it for breakfast. Oh, please! But my brother, my older brother, used to call. Uh, I'd be over at my dad's house years and years ago before he passed away, and uh, I would be over there, and my brother would, older brother would call and say, "Look, I'm going through the chicken house." You, do you, what do you want? You know? And so we would say what we wanted and we'd tell the food we wanted and give our order to him and 30 minutes, 45 minutes go by. He didn't, he never shows up. He, ne he never showed up. He wasn't even at the chicken house and we had plates out with drinks ready. He's a no show. When you said that, I'm fixed. I'm pictured your, your brother walking out of his house and going to his chicken yeah, what's the yeah. chicken house? What is a chicken yeah. house? Uh, <laughs> churches, Popeyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking. I was thinking back and forth day, and I said, "Well, what are you talking about? What do you want?" Yeah, I thought the so chicken you, house was some local place. I, ain't heard of. I thought I didn't want to be too specific, fries, but after being what? here for thirty-seven <laughs> no. years, I figured I heard of just about everything around. He said he's getting young <laughs> chicken fries. house. Whoa, here, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. He I was with Sal that one for him. Gather eggs, fresh pluck it. Yeah. yeah, I did fry it up. Oh. The old ch chicken house. But he never showed up with the food. And there's well, nothing worse than thinking you're fixing to get some good in food. In a not shocking get it. turn of events, we spent the first 12 minutes talking about food. So let's take a break and we'll be back yeah. right Breakfast. after this. Now I'm hungry. I went to London. Look, we've all been there. Unexpected expenses pop up. You ain't got the money, right? I mean, I'm seeing that now more with kids than ever Absolutely. like just you Aren't never you strapped for cash i'm not strapped but there are unexpected expenses yeah, but they are unexpected up. our friends over at dave could help your boy out help your boy out i mean dave is the banking app that can help you get up to 500 dollars if you need it with extra cash look dave is the banking app that could help you get up to 500 dollars instantly with extra cash and the cool thing with dave there's no interest lake fees or credit check I mean, when you're young and starting out, or you, maybe you're getting back on your feet, you need help. Dave is there to help. That's more money to fill your tank. Finally get your car repaired. Catch up on bills without having to wait for the next paycheck. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from the future you. Future me sounds awesome. But here's the deal. There's times where Duck Commander could have used Dave. When I first started here, Kay hand me a check on Friday, say, hey, don't cash that till Tuesday. Wait till Tuesday, so, boys. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, you need it. So this, I remember them days. Oh, no. It won't be covered until Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. and that's, You cash it before then, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And that's even if it's good Tuesday. Sometimes I just went to Wednesday just to be safe. <laughs> he said oh, bouncy, 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 yeah. bouncy. No, but you can download the Dave app now from the App Store. Or go to dave.com slash duck. That's D-A-V-E dot com slash duck. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Well, we're back. Phil? I, I've got to do something about it. It's, it's very it's bright, so bright in this room. In so Sadie bright. has a radiance about her yeah. that well, hey, shines that's it. That's it. into your eyeballs. Yeah. It is bright in here. So I'm not trying to be Phil Robertson, but I'm wearing sunglasses inside, but I am going to wear them in here. Um, well, okay, hey, you just got back from somewhere. Mm. Where are you at? Where are you, you're, you and your wife been? We went to London to visit my son, Bryson, who's in the Air Force. London, uh, baby. Well, yeah. hey, was you impressed? I was. The people are very friendly, very pleasant. It's clean. Um, I I loved it. We had a great time. We we went and toured and saw everything in castles and Buckingham Palace, and we met a lot of cool people. But the food, not so much. Just bland. 
Oh, you fish don't. Fish and chips are good. I did eat fish and chips four or five times. So I spent 12 that and a half years. They, that was still, they still don't put no Tonys on it. No, I had to bring my own Tonys. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was packing Tonys. Yeah, so. I, was, I spent 12 and a half years overseas, okay, in Germany mostly. Mm -hmm. And I, everybody was always talking, well, you need to go to England. You know? And I said, why would I want to go to England that y'all always come back and you always say what a horrible time you had there? There are people. I'm serious. <laughs> And the main thing was, was hey, the food was terrible. <laughs> it was bland. That's true, though. You know, it was they, bland. They, you know, they, they don't put salt and pepper on well, and they're nothing. In their defense, though, if you don't know nothing about salt and pepper, well, you, you, know, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, now, yeah. what I don't understand the most about over there, why is ice like a currency over there? Like it's oh, like it's it like a it's little gold bar. Yeah, no, like, you're what, right. What y'all got against a cold? Well, wasn't, there wasn't a bunch of ice. Like, Hello. That's the same thing. And you ask for ice, and they bring you a cube. Same I'm up. like, a yeah. cube. Did somebody sit back there with that thing, or what? I was like, in Germany. First time I said, hey, you know, hey, look, I want some. I want a glass of ice. Yo, know? and they come out. It's one cube in a, in a glass. I said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. <laughs> that must I want a big piece of a ice. A glass, a big glass full of ice. <laughs> I like my what I'm drinking tea or whatever. I like it cold. Oh, so I know we have some listeners from across the pond. Why, what is y'all's deal with ice? Yeah. It's the same thing like, in Italy. I, I, when I was there, no, no ice. No ice? Yeah. Anywhere. No, I got it a couple times, but we went to a lot of cafes, uh, drank a lot of coffee, and there were some really cool places that Bryson took us to. Did you go to a soccer game? No, we didn't go to the soccer game, but we saw the oh, Queen's man. horses, or now the King's horses. Did you drink a lot of hot tea? Yeah, we drank tea, drank coffee. It was good. Hey, but I like. The I way will they... say this for that. Some of their hot tea. Yeah. You know they put like stuff in it. It's actually good. Uh, My wife drinks. I was tea. shocked. I'm a okay. lasso on that one. I don't drink uh, hot beverages of any sort. Well, no, no. My dad and mom got into that. I, mean. and I, I don't think they ever want Did you it. have any of that water with bubbles in it, Philip? That kind of caught you off guard. <laughs> I did, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, I liked the way they talked, and they loved my accent because they were like, "Say something else." Say, oh, and they would say, you know, stuff oh, poppycock, like, poppycock, and and sport. <laughs> they call, one guy called me sport, cheeky he was like, fellow. How you doing, sport? Sport. Uh, and mind the gap. We rode the tube, the trains, the boats. So we went punting. You uh, went what? Punting. You kicked Punt footballs? Punting? No, punting, punting. What is punting? Punting is where a guy gets in the back of the boat with a push pole and takes you through the rivers. Oh, he needs a yeah. trolling motor. And it's called punting. punting, and you can't use any kind of trolling motor. Well, you can do that at the Monroe Zoo. I got a kayak. Not safely. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> right. that's, new, that's a new one, punting. Punting, punting. Oh, hey, you got the, you start with a P, but hey, it ain't punting, it's paddling. So what was your favorite <laughs> thing you, you did in London? Um, well, mostly hanging out with Bryson, and me and Lisa enjoyed that. Uh, we went on the Air Force Base and got to see a lot of the planes take off and land and do that sort of thing. That was fun. Buckingham Palace was really cool. Uh, just the whole experience, it was great. It was great to get away for a week, you know, because yeah. it's hard for me to take time, but that that was nice. I enjoyed it. Did you fly first class? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Did you lay flat on the way over <laughs> Let there? Let me tell you something. <laughs> there was 10 of us on one row packed shoulder to shoulder for 10 hours. Ooh, where'd you fly from? Uh, out of Monroe, and we hubbed out through Dallas. I was about to say, bro, Monroe ain't going direct to London. Yeah, no, no, Monroe ain't going directly nowhere, and it's going to be late most of the time. <laughs> oh, be man. late. So you went Dallas all the way to London? Yeah. That's a long flight. It was. It was about 10 hours, and so I watched a movie, I listened to music, and I, I read some stuff, and I was like, here we go. That's only three hours. I mean, I, I, <laughs> you were out of hours. stuff to do. So. I was like seven more hours. <laughs> full work day left. Yeah. I was just moving in slow motion, you know. I was like, I was like when we went to Hawaii. Yeah, that was, was a long, Was it a long ride? Huh? It was a long ride. Oh, yeah. Velcro back there. About 14 hours. I was trying to get my hand yeah. to sit somewhere. Yeah, but we was in first class, so hey, it was, it was, hey. this was one of the big planes where, hey, you could actually. Hit it and it will lay you down. You can go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Martin's yeah, right. Bro, bro. When, when I go with sides, way different. They're <laughs> like, sir, what can we do for you? And when I, when me and Alicia went, they were like, 
back of the plane. <laughs> back this way. Of, I was, I was like, where's row 75? Yeah. yeah. You know, this yeah. thing's huge. Well, that's We're the, the last ones on. Well, what group are we in? E. Yeah. After the after they say the numbers, they go through the alphabet. <laughs> so I don't know that because he's always the first one on the plane. Yeah. Well, when we all went to Scotland, yeah, they all sat up front. Me and Goblin, we got an exit row. You know, Bang the bus. hey, at least you got an exit row. <laughs> Me and Gava just shoulder to shoulder on an exit row there the whole time. <laughs> at, least, was... at least it's somebody you can lean against that wouldn't mind. Yeah, no, we it was that country is wild. I, I, I'll agree on the eating. Like, we went over there and we ate at an Italian restaurant every night for the most part, which is well, immigrants had opened one and it was really good. Them Italians know how to slang in the kitchen. You yeah. know what I would like to see is is Cy over there driving on the wrong side of the road in his truck. I didn't even like riding on the wrong I side. I didn't of the either. Road. I couldn't ever tell where. Cy, I couldn't going. deal with it. No, that, that's kind of a strange feeling. Oh, I felt like we were going to have a head on crash yeah, just any minute. I did just fix run over. Yeah. Did that metric system screw you up? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are 700 kilometers. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. What's that? Yeah, that's wild. The metric system's weird, but I think we're weird. It's a way easier system of math if we would just Everybody's go Everybody's got their quirks, boys. Yeah, America's yeah. got theirs, and it's that's it. feet. It's, it's ice, salt, and <laughs> Miles per measure. hour. Yeah. <laughs> so they do a little fishing. You know, some people that I talk to, they do a little fishing, but they Where'd don't. Where do you think the fishing ships came from? Well. I mean, I had to catch that myself. Ooh. But they don't do any hunting. I mean, there's well, no, there's like forty yeah, million do. people on that island. No, yes, they do. No nope. people on that and, island, and they don't. And, and look, ain't no woods. They don't have guns except for Sherwood Forest. They don't have guns. No, when we when we did Duck Dynasty over there, we had to fill out like a mile worth of paperwork just to hold a gun. Oh, y'all had to take the guns with you? No, they had them there, but you had to get them from like a certain oh, yeah. from. From the people that held the guns, and like they would bring them to you, they were on site the whole time. Like you did, did the. Did thing. y'all shoot anything? No, no, you bull. just took pictures. <laughs> we just shot the bull. We that's did. what. Hey, that's what's been happening every year. We go dove hunting. We haven't killed anything in the last four years. So I was trying to, you know, hunt a Loch Ness monster or whatever, but that was. Oh, hey, I, I had him on, boys. No, broke the line. Did you? You, you got something big? Oh yeah, I had him on. Yeah, a bull. He broke the line. Yeah. He broke away. Line wasn't good enough. Oh well, no! Your mean, line, your what? line is good. Si. <laughs> to catch the Loch Ness monster, you would need rope. Philip, did you see anybody that looked like us in England? I'm just curious. That's a negative, sir. No, they were all, all they were all good looking and in, no, and in no shape. Beards, all clean shape. I didn't see a lot of beards. He didn't spend no time at them pubs, and if everybody were good looking and in shape, <laughs> I did not. Did you see a Waffle House? <laughs> no. Then no. we win. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God bless America. It's like we win. <laughs> Good night. There's 56 million people over there. Yeah, I was looking at that. Hey, that's what I'm saying. That's why they can't hunt because there's too many people. Like, they claim they have a countryside. Did I it, don't think it's very big. Did you see the sunshine while you was there? A very little bit. Yeah, it was mostly overcast and rainy, but the sun would come out from time to time. And oh, so. I remember that. And, and when I was stationed in Germany, yeah. it was, we did not see the sun for like 45 days. That's why and people, everybody, man. everybody was it's in depressing. a no, 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 no. Yeah, everybody was in a foul mood, big time, big mad. Mm. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> you go without sunshine. I'm telling you, hey, you fix to turn mad. Uh, every February, I get mad. Well, no, no, because look, hey, the it's first cold. day after that, that the sun come out, hey, general said, hey, everybody just take the day off and enjoy yourself. There you go. Go barbecue. Go go do something. Just enjoy yourself. Because mm. everybody was, hey, you say something to them, you know, they'd bite your head off. Because everybody was just angry. Sunlight keeps the, you know, the anger down. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because, hey, overcast, overcast. Maybe that's why this room is so bright. <laughs> overcast days are bad on you. Yeah. They're good They're for fishing. Especially if they run for about 45, <laughs> 50 days without, without sunshine. Uh, well, let's take another break. That's we'll be back long. right after this. No, way too long. Johnny D, I feel like you're cheating on us right now. I know, but this pillow of Sadie's is just so outrageous. I couldn't sleep on it though. That you know what it doesn't have? 
a picture of Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, you with an American flag, riding an eagle, <laughs> riding an eagle. Yeah. And also, I feel like this is just regular. It's yeah. not a two point oh. And I, I'll tell you what else. I'm almost certain it's not made in the U.S. of A. Like our friends at My Pillow. I'll find right. out. I'm going to take it apart. You do the rest of the ad. <laughs> while I find out where this was made. But, hey, I do have a question for you. While you're holding it, does it keep you cool? Yeah. See, so it's definitely not a My Pillow two point oh. Who knows that core body temperature plays a big role in how well you sleep. The all-new MyPillow 2.0 has brand new temperature reg regulating technology that keeps you comfortable throughout the night. The all-new fabric technology helps you regulate your body temperature through the night by creating a lower surface temperature for a more restful night's sleep. Cool thing is, since it's the fiber and not a finish, it never goes anywhere because you're going to wash it. You're going to dry it. You're going to... There's no reason for a yellow pillow. You just throw this one in the washer and dryer, get it done with, all that good stuff. The Knife Pillow 2.0 has a knife edge seam, no gusset, and is available in four loft levels. So if you like to sleep flat or if you like to sleep up on a hill, that's up to you. You can figure it out. There's a 10 year warranty and a 60 day money back guarantee, but you're not going to use it, need it, because we know that you'll love them. Look. It's made in China. I See, the tag. I told you. It also says keep it away from a fire, which I think well, is self explanatory. Oh. I'm just glad. Like the my pillow towels aren't like that. That would be weird, or the slippers, or the sheets. Imagine if you had to sleep in that. Like that's just a weird deal. So if you want something that's not like this, try out all the my pillow products. There, it's the exact opposite of this. That is a great thing. Right. <laughs> all you have to do is go to mypillow.com slash duck to get the all new my pillow 2.0 the slippers and all the my pillow products right now get all the all new my pillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck again just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one get one on the my pillow 2.0 and a huge closeout on all slippers or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck Order the now. The part is, okay, it's made in the good old USA. And if you or you better order now. That's right, because when they're gone. Where'd they go? They're gone, boys. Bye. Johnny D's over here ordering fishing rod. Look, the man never stops working. Well, Mom asked if we had something. I don't think we uh, What do. kind of rod you are? Fishing chips. Somebody just asked for a certain rod. There you go. Are we recording? Yeah, I don't oh. know. Well, I mean, like, somebody asked for a Diamond Champion 704 CB glass, hey, but all we got is 765 CB glass. What's different? <laughs> seven six and seven four? No, seven zero. Oh, and one's go. medium. So, one's so there is heavy. hunting in London, but you have to be kind of on the wealthy side. Yeah, and you got to do all your homework before you get there about guns and everything. They're they're not America. Yeah, no, they're yeah, not that's right. America. They're not. I don't America. know. I don't believe they have a Second Amendment. Speaking of America. What about America? How about them girls playing basketball? Woo! LSU, I can't see you, son. What are you talking about? LSU uh -oh. won it? Yeah, the girl. LSU that was, girls won it. What, wait, did they win it? Oh, I'm look sorry. Look at her finger. I'm look. sorry. Yeah, look at her finger. I buy you Barbie went wild she, with the trash talk and the smash. Talk. Hey, but LSU yeah. played their heart out. It was an excellent game. Excellent game. Old girl from Iowa, old Caitlin. Yep. Baller. Yeah, she beat the crap out of me in basketball. Me too. She she was she was hitting threes that I didn't Baller. know were possible. Yeah. yeah, she's unbelievable. So I don't know. I I saw they all caught a lot of flack for doing whatever they do, but man, in the heat of the moment, that's right. You're a college kid. Yeah, man, you gotta remember these people are still kids for the most part. They're they're learning how to adult. And and look, they but, know it's a tough game. Yeah, and there's a lot of emotions going wild. You know, hey, we pulled it off. Maybe I may have went too far with some gestures, but I mean, come on. I the mean, refs were terrible, though. I, on both I sides. agree. Yeah, they were definitely. They didn't let bad. them play? Huh? Oh, they were letting them Finally, play. They, yeah, they, 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 they tried were, to bring it back, but no. Yeah, they had done it. They were kind of rough. Right. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like a pickup basketball game. LSU just said, we're going to run right at you. And I was said, uh oh. But, you know, it's fine. It was good. Go, go, Colt. Coach, what's her last name now? Mulkey. Mulkey. Yeah. She's, mm -hmm. She had that hyphenated name for a while. Oh, yeah. Kim Mulkey. Yeah, because her son played for LSU baseball. And she played for and, Louisiana Tech yeah. in the 70s, I think. Or yeah. Maybe early 80s. I don't 80s. Know. And in typical Louisiana fashion, her fashion is wild. Oh, like, yeah. She, big hey, wild. she dresses like Cy. Yeah. He goes out on events yeah. bedazzled. Yeah. <laughs> She's, she has some cool looking stuff on. She, she would have liked it. Hold on. Here's my old boys. I have a story to tell. All right. Well, have a tell it. You, 
You know what? I'm gonna go full side here. That reminds me. That reminds me. Um. So the, like time out though. <laughs> if, does it actually remind you of? Is it pertinent to the story? Yeah. Then you're not going full side. Oh, that's so, <laughs> that reminds me of something. That reminds me of something oh. else. Oh. Well, we were talking about cataracts and battle vision. What about the 95 percent truth, son? Oh, I'm not doubting that it's 95 percent true. I'm just saying every time you say that reminds me, most of the time it has no correlation to what we're talking about. You just all of a sudden got jobs. So, there you go. Go ahead. But this story sticks up for Sai. Go ahead. Hey, that's a good one, then. It's, it's a good one. All right, tell it. So I'm checking this old guy out at the honey hole. Old. Work in the cash register. Okay, so th I'm glad you clarified that point. Okay. Yeah, not, yeah. <laughs> he's purchasing things. I'm ringing yeah, it up. There you go. And I look at him. I'm like, something is off here. And I can't figure it out. And no. I, and I'm like, what's going on? With, with He had popped one lens out of his glasses and... Because he had just had just the left eye done and was going to go get the right yeah, eye done in a it. couple of weeks. So he's like, don't need this one anymore. Pop. And was just wearing the one. So I, that's apparently a normal thing to do. Oh, no. Did you tell him about Si? No, I just kind of. Why do you not have a cardboard tower of battle visions? You could have sold that guy. That's right. Because yeah. if he's, he's willing to do it. that, hey. you know what else he's that's willing right. to do. That's right. He's going to get battle I got to laugh and I said, I got a friend named Si you, you would be good friends with, sir. He also believes in the boop. Was, was he wearing a jumpsuit? Mm, nope. Oh, I was just wondering. I don't remember what he was wearing. Overall. I was focused on how he only had one lens in his glass. Oh, that's mm. fantastic. So, no, no, that was, that was like a three-ring circus when I went through that. Because I told you about coming out and getting in the wrong, wrong car. car and got in the wrong car. Mm. But it was so funny because the guy that was in the car, he understood because he was wearing the dark shades too. He had just had it done. Yeah. And he said, I understand, brother. Side, tighten up over. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. These there you couches. go. There you go. That's why I have this cool pillow. Yeah. Hide the fun zone. It's a weird pillow. but There you go. This hey, we're, we're learning here, man. We're learning. That's why we have tables. I because... feel like we should have a therapist come in and talk to all of us. There's one right down the end of that hall right there. Hey! Freddie! What's that? Sadie could do it. <laughs> Sadie could do it. Oh, so she could She'd do keep it. us she in does line. A lot of things. Problem is, Sadie, like, how, 15 years younger than me? And she's, no. she's done like three times as much as me. How old is she? She twenty. Well, hey, hey, look, she's, she's probably twelve done, years younger than she's me. She's done probably three times more than most people. Yeah, and about to have another kid. I think she's only yeah, like eight or nine years younger child. than me. There you go. I remember when she was a kid, I'd pick her up from ballet. Willie would be like, "Hey, can you go pick up?" He'd give everybody assignments. You go pick up Sadie. She's at ballet class. Here's where you can get her. Oh, I walk 100%. in, and Sadie's like, "I said, come with me." Yeah, I never forget her eyes when I walked into uh, gymnastics. Like I was, she was like, "Well, I guess Dad's in charge again." <laughs> in Calhoun? Yeah, no, this one was over in Monroe. Me and Bella walked in to pick up Sadie from gymnastics. <laughs> like it was like, "Hey, honey, <laughs> you remember me?" <laughs> Times were a lot easier then because, like today, if you went to do that, I'm sure there'd be a lot of questions. Bodyguards, no, no sir. Yeah, but like now, they're back then. They're like, "Oh yeah, I guess you you've got one of the kids. I guess you're supposed to get the other one too." So. Um. Yeah, the things you do if you work at Duck Commander, you just get weird assignments at Jack 6 p.m. Of course, you always knew, like, generally that meant he was cooking something and couldn't leave it. So you're like, yeah, I'll go get her. Yeah, <laughs> Not true. a problem. That way, because when I drop her off, I'm coming in to eat, too. So um, we, we worked cheap. <laughs> Still do. Still, Still do. do. You know, it is what it is. And Willie's got a way about him. Go do this for me. You know, you're like, well, I'll do it for him. Yeah. He's cooking me something to eat. Yeah. That's, sure. uh, he'll give you anything he's got. So yeah. you're like, you go. just, you're, food, you're cashing in on the crumbs, baby. Cashing Back in on food. the crumbs. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take our, another break. Not our last break, but another break. Hey, Martin, when we get back, somebody's got a birthday coming up. Okay. It's going to be awesome. All right. We're back. Sai, welcome back. How old are you going to be? I will be 75. 75. Three quarters of a century <gasps> in just Three a couple of, of weeks. Three quarters of a century. Ain't that wild? Did you ever think you'd make uh, 75? Nope. nope. When you were 65, I, did you think you'd make no, 75? No, 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 no. And it went by. <laughs> that yeah. fast, huh? Fast. How, when did I that? I had a guy. I was about 30, I guess. And he was about 65. He said, hey. 
He said, don't blink. He said, you'll be my age. <laughs> and he was right. And you blinked? I blinked, and hey, I, here I am. There you go. Blink, wiggled your toes, yeah. and all of a sudden, you start hey. to be 75. 75 years old. Time does go fast. I, rem- I remember, I guess it was 2012, the Duck Dynasty started, man. Mm-hmm. When did you get your master's degree? Because my wife also got her master's degree, and I saw you at graduation. Oh, yeah, we graduated on the same day. So uh-huh. Yeah, Martin, when did you get your master's degree? I didn't get master's degree. Oh, no, you know you were getting I your... was getting undergrad. Then. That's right. Yeah, I got that, and t- I finished I forget college. that you're so I finished much college than in me. three years. <laughs> But you, I wasn't on that Johnny D six year plan. Hey, right, take it easy, pal. <laughs> when was that? What I wanted to do in life. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. Hold on though. But you're like, you could go back to school and take one class and have a master's degree, right? I just have to redo my thesis. I would have to redo current research. That's it. Yeah, my classwork's done. Like all my hours are done. I just never finished my thesis. And now why would you? <laughs> yeah. So all you would have to do was write your thesis. Yeah, I'd have to do two years of research and do a thesis, and I'd have my and then i'd have to defend it and then <laughs> i'd be done of course now they offer like non-thesis master's projects so like you could go back i'd go back and take like four more classes and get it too so it's but who wants to do that crap man i learned everything i needed to learn <laughs> you where you want to be true. yeah what's the difference there is no difference to me it's not going to affect my pay grade in one shape form or fashion so like why would i go back i mean now I get to learn stuff for fun. Now all the stuff I learn is just hobby nerding. Yeah. Like, but I get to the cool thing is like with the boys, I'm already like getting back into nerd mode because I'm you know like showing them plants and crap like plants. That. So, yeah. like, hey, you need to know yeah. what's yeah, around you're, you're you. You're teaching man. every I'm a, day. I'm a Martin firm knows more believer, about and you everybody. need to know what you're surrounded by. I agree. Like I, I, I'm just a believer. You never want to so, wipe with poison ivy. I mean, the other day I took them, <laughs> I took them fishing, not fishing. You took we went, fishing? We went walking. And you went fishing. And I went fishing. That's a real dad move. <laughs> and they did let me catch one bass before they had had enough. There's In your neighborhood pond? Uh-huh. Oh, we should tear that thing up. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. No, I, I knew. I said, I told Brittany, I said, look, there's two places a bass lives in this pond every day, of, every year. I said, I'm going to try one of them. And I walked up there and I saw the little fry go off. So they had already spawned in there. I said, oh, yeah, he's there. He's protecting his babies. This will be easy. First cast, he missed it. I was like, dang gummit. I didn't know if I'd get him bite again. <laughs> Second cast, nothing. Third cast, whoom. I said, yep. And they went up there to show it to the boys, and they were just more interested in playing with the worms. They wasn't interested. <laughs> it was kind of unfulfilling on that end of it. But, uh, you know, they did see it. Jackson reached out for it, but then he heard the package of worms crinkle, and he that really got him. So uh, it's wild, man. Six months old. Basically, all they do is lay on their back, thrash around, and if something crinkles, they really enjoy it. So. Well, that's a that's a fun age, and you know, it's all fun ages. Uh, I can remember, and you're doing a lot of teaching and training. You know, with I'm your trying kids. to. Like, I walked in when Bryson was young. I guess he was. I don't know, maybe three, maybe four, and uh, we had him potty trained at an earlier age, and he was everything was fine. But I walked into the bathroom. He's standing on the sink and the toilet is on the other side of the room and he says dad come watch this come watch this (laughs) he shot a scream i'm telling you he didn't even hit the toilet and i laughed i laughed and my wife came there she didn't laugh she got the wooden spoon out you know i was like oh no no, this is cool hey hey, we're working on hand-eye coordination this This is is cool no but it's just you know there's so many neat and cool things about kids growing up and so much teaching to do and so much. My training. biggest deal with them is like, and I'm trying fun. and I'm trying to make them where they're not scared of anything. Like, yeah. you know, I, I want to good luck. Well, I want to <laughs> introduce them to like fish, snakes, bugs at a young age where it's they should like, be afraid of snakes. Well, they're going to learn the difference between venomous and non-venomous obviously, but I don't want them to see one and then just freak out and have a tantrum. Yeah. Like, I want them to know what to do. Like, either A, get away, or, no, that was kind of cool. We can play with it if we want to. So, I, I live for the day they come walking in the house with a snake and their mom freaks out. That's what, I mean, let's just call it what it is. Like, I have a little a little ribbon snake that lives in our flower bed, and he lives in a little irrigation pipe. He's been there for, like, three years. I checked on him the other day. He's still there, chilling. He just comes and eats all the bugs out of the deal. So there's coming a day. Now, he'll bite you. That's the problem. See, see, their fingers are little enough where he can get them oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. I don't want to do that. 
so he don't bite me we're cool but i do want them to like be exposed to all that kind of stuff because i again i just don't want them to freak out like i want them to enjoy nature embrace what's around them and you know, I, I can't, the thought of like them running from a fish or something is just more than I can bear. Yeah. Like, I, I just can't. No, that's stuff we play with. Yeah, the healthy fear can be, you know, don't walk out of the road. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, things like that. respect for all things. Stranger danger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a difference between respect and fear. Like, and that's what I want to teach them a healthy respect for all these things. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We're. We're having fun. We're playing with bugs. We're, you know, picking clovers in the yard and handing them to them, watch them play them, trying to keep them out of their mouth. <laughs> they're at that stage where they're like, ah, everything goes in their hand, goes to their mouth. It's like, oh, hey, yeah. I'm out now. But no, it's, it's like, you know, carrying around a 75 year old. You get to experience things for the first time. It's an old people. So, when's the last time you stood on the cabinet and tried to make it in the toilet? <laughs> The question is, if you stood on the cabinet, could you make it in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to that. There's a lot to that. Second like childhood. Oh, he man. Said, could you make it in the sink? I love it. Golly. Oh. No, they are a lot of fun now. They're, they're, they're markedly more enjoyable now, mainly because they sleep all night. They sleeping all night. That's the, all that's the night, ticket. All you can be afraid of whatever you want to be afraid of at my house as long as you sleep all night. Si, what what's the difference in, you know, when you have your own kids and when you have grandkids? You got you got to a, a age that your uh I guess God says it's you know, it's wisdom. You know. By all the experiences you've taken, you you take the time, okay? to teach them, you know, their grandparents is my, my thought. They've got the time on their hands. So they, they actually spend it productively. Like he's talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They show them stuff. They tell them about stuff that they went through when they were a child. But like my mom, she lived till she was 94. And she, you know, and I said, mom, you've seen a lot of, a lot of changes, you know, through the human race, you know, and she was she was talking about yeah, you know, and, I was, and she said, and, and not all of it's good. <laughs> Boy, what if she's still here, Ham? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, but it's just you know, because you know, like you know, she was in the day that doctors used to hook electricity to people. Yeah, and then sadistic rascal over there mm -hmm. turning the knob. <clears throat> yeah. To the different levels and watch them twitch. Yeah, that's horrible. No, no, that was medical. That right. was the medical field back in there. They would also drill holes in the mm -hmm. back of people's head. You know, yeah. well, bleed. They yeah. cut them and let them bleed and think they was doing good mm. doing it. That's rough. Yeah. Hey, ain't one way to find out. Yeah, trial and error. But I just you know like, like grand rough. grandfathers <laughs> and grandmothers because I didn't oh, I didn't so get to know now. either one of my yeah. grandfathers. You didn't. Uh, I didn't know that you didn't. Yeah, you didn't no. get to meet any of your he, grandparents. One of them. Or just grandpa. You know, dad's dad didn't know him, and then mama's, you know, father. And mm -hmm. and, I, and I missed out on a lot of stuff. Okay, that they would have shared with me. Oh yeah, hundred you know? percent. Because once you get, you know, up there in age, you 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 know you take the time. You know, they've got plenty of time on their hands. Okay, so because mom and dad is busy, you know, usually too busy making a living and taking care of business, you know, that they don't give them the time that most of them that they, you know, would would like to give them more. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being got, a grandfather you know, one day. Because you've got, uh, you, you know, you're busy you making a living. <laughs> yeah. We don't, let, we don't yeah, live I'll come, far from I'll you. come help you. You want some practice? I'd love it. We'll drop them off tonight. Drop them off. <laughs> drop them off. I won't mind. And Alicia will love it. Anytime you need us to babysit, we would love thing, to. Hey, all I can do is just say, hey, come get this terrible kid. <laughs> yeah. you did, that's what you used to say? Hey, yeah. With yours? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're back. Hello at duckcallroom.com. We're Johnny D. What's in the mail? We're in a the mailbox. Should we 
Nah, let's not go deep. What you got in there is funny. <laughs> Anything? I just got really excited about that one, but I'm not gonna read it online. Uh, um, yeah, I got some stuff. Sorry. Uh, this one made me laugh. James, Jimmy, like it. Was in an antique. At a, he was at an antique fair. Oh shoot! Ooh. Roadshow. Now you said yeah. that there's something in my office I need to get sir. What? Uh oh, antique. Uh, uh, antique. You have, back. To, you have to see it. Right. To... This man was at an antique fair and. He found this, which is a bobblehead of Willie. <laughs> Willie, Willie yeah. Antique. Man, he didn't have to go to Antique Fair. Bobblehead of Willie. Waste management around here. <laughs> oh. We threw a dumpster full of them things away. I don't want to talk about that. I just, yeah. thought, I just thought it was funny that uh, Willie's an antique. Willie's an antique. I yeah. And then Amy emails in. Uh, she saw you at the Bassmaster. I don't know if she met you. Oh. But she did see you. Hey, I was there. From Boonville, North Carolina. North Kakalak, baby. And since we talked about a master's in biology, this could be what you write your thesis on. I see something says a question about my box turtle. Box turtles are awesome. By the way. Okay, well, they great. Are. They're fantastic. I and love them. Hey, box guess turtles. what their partners are underground? Worms. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. That's gopher <clears throat> tortoises. But. That's the only thing I didn't like about them when I, when I was, like he was talking about. Yeah, they're a cool little turtle. Yeah. All right. Well, she's got a question. She's got a rescue box turtle. Love it. It's got one eye. Ooh. A what? And it won't eat. Box turtle that she rescued. Oh. It won't eat. One eye. Won't eat. Oh, Jack won't Elam. eat in captivity. Oh, like Jack she, Elam turtle. Oh, so she rescued <laughs> it and now it won't eat. Well, yeah, because I mean, not all turtle. things are meant to be tame. <laughs> like that's a. She but, has a lamp, a heating pad, and his kitty pool, but he doesn't want to eat. Yeah, it happens. Hey, he well, well, what's the answer, Martin? Let him go. Right. Turn him loose. <laughs> Let him and be I wild again. Put him in like when you bring animals. Oh, he got that... one eye. Hey, I've caught a lot of fish with one eye. Like I, they, I, can, I, they can make it. I, I would name him Jack Elam. Jack Elam. One eye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> too young. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dog was blind in one eye from his birth. But yeah, I mean, but one eye. They didn't know. They are like, well, we can't ask him. Oh, here's the deal. It's true. Here's the thing you got to remember. Nature's cruel, man. And the one-eyed things get snuffed out pretty quick. But only You can't save them all. <laughs> like, they're just a natural order of things that take place. The one-eyed things get snuffed out. <laughs> well, one-eyed things, things that are different colors than they're supposed to be. Like, you know, when a deer is born white, that's a pretty rough life for him. Oh, no, no, it, no. Everything can see him. He can't hide. Same with yep. squirrels. Same with things that come out of albino and all that. that they, the alligators all end up at the New Orleans Zoo. Well, most white alligators are bred in captivity anyway, so that's just yeah, but that's, that's what lion one, breeding does to you. But yeah, that's some of the uniqueness of it. Yeah, like black fox squirrel. Yeah, yeah. I I was hunting and I kept seeing something move and I never could figure out what in the world. You know, and it's getting dark the whole time. Then I finally threw my scope up and I said, "Oh, that's that's why I'm having trouble keeping up with this joker." Yeah. He's I solid you, black. If you're born with that yeah. deal, then you live a long time because yeah. you can hide oh, yeah. it pretty easy. Now, them white ones, though, they get snuffed out. Oh, yeah, quick. no, because it's, it's, it goes against. But if he uh, won't eat, I don't know if she's trying to hand feed him, leave stuff in there for him and walk away. Like, just get away from him. Like, let him live in your garage in a cage or something. Just don't be around him. Let's, just leave him alone. I have a buddy who has a whole pen of box turtles, so to speak, that he has found on the side of the road, and, like, they live their best life. I mean, they got, like, 12 of them. And they're having babies in there. It's cool. Oh, no. It's a... They're cool. They're cool. cool. And his kids love them, and, like, I, now I can't wait for mine to he's get got, big enough to go He's got an automatic garage big. door. <laughs> yeah. He can close it anytime time he gets ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, AJ from Oklahoma. AJ. Good country. Stone. We gonna hold it down for the city of Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> that commercial was awesome. It was. Uh, we just went full 2003 up in here. All right. Anyway, AJ from Oklahoma, huge fan. Listen to the Duck Call Room podcast. Has a question, and he has a girlfriend, and his question <laughs> is about his girlfriend. Uh oh. She makes quite a bit more money than I do. My man. All High right. Five. Boom. High five that baby. <laughs> but I still pay for everything. She has expressed that she would like to pay for things more. Later. He's a gentleman. 
But I'm old school in regards to that. At what point is it okay for her to pay for things? Whenever she, when, when whenever she wants so? Yeah, whenever she wants to. Like, That's right. no, it doesn't make Until the right. money runs out. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make you less of a man if she yeah. you're at dinner and she's like, Here, I'll buy it. Let her buy it. Let her buy it. It's cool. I mean, I'm the same way. I'm I'm old school. Like even we're married. We've been married for however long now. <laughs> Almost ten years or whatever. And even when the check comes now, it look, it's coming out of one place. I still grab it. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's just part of what's built into us. But, man, if that's where y'all are at and you're dating, just let her do whatever. If it makes her happy, let her do it. Let like, her I mean, it's fine. It's cool. It, it, hey. I, it's a hard pill to swallow, but, like, no, you're, it ain't. you're also being fiscally responsible. No, and no. when you're dating. Hey. I said, well, no, it ain't. ain't. No, it ain't. Because you need this. It's your perspective of things. It's all about okay. perspective, boys. Look. Here's what I will tell you to do that. Your 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 woman is is lucky enough that she's got a good job that pays well. Yeah. Kudos to her and to you. Don't be stupid about this. But just don't let her don't wait for her to propose to you if that's the future. Yeah. Like, you know. Not go completely <laughs> hey, count, backwards hey, look, here. Just count that as one of the blessings that the Almighty have blessed you yeah. with. Yeah, Maybe yeah. you buy dinner, she buys ice cream. Yeah. Maybe you buy, you know. Or, 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 yeah, you pay for coffee, like, she pays for the meal. Yeah. You got to be confident enough to, to let her pay for some It doesn't things. affect your manhood. No, no, it shouldn't. All. It shouldn't. Okay. And and here's the other deal. If you're dating, I assume you're not just dating her and you know you're going to break up one day. You probably yeah. want it to go somewhere yeah. at this yeah. juncture. Maybe you would break up one day. Who cares? But... um. One day it's all going to be your money anyway together. Yeah. So you so might as well get used to sharing stuff. This now. is for you. Yeah. For both of you. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a good thing. No. It's a good problem. I understand about I understand oh. that you want to take care. Yeah. And that you are the leader of the house. Wow. Well. Okay. But don't do it to a point of just yeah. being. Don't ignorant. be don't be fiscally irresponsible either. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. I would just say, hey, count it. Count it as one. And if you want to buy a big dinner, call our friends over at Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but don't let don't let it get to you. If she wants to buy something, let yeah. let her buy it, let and then have a conversation. Like, hey, I I appreciate it. Uh, you know, you're not mooching off of her. Say thank you. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Say thank you. Open the door. All that good stuff. Yeah. What else? We got we got time for one more. We got time. Well, most of them, us. So most of them are snacks. Oh. Well, we'll get to that once we get back in our home, folks. Look, we have all the snacks for the people reaching out That's to me. We, I think we got to talk about snacks here for a second because, yeah. I mean, there are snacks left, right. So in my racket. in my office, there is an uncomfortable amount of calories. <laughs> <laughs> and that's hard for me to say, but you know it's done gotten out of hand if I'm telling you it's an uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. There are some very bizarre ones uh -oh. that I have tasted. I'm not sure how they were ever a thing. Not sure. But there are some really good ones, too. <laughs> have you seen know. it, Si? Have you seen the stack nope. in the oh, office? All you got to do is go we'll in go there. After they're not ready. hidden. We'll, they're we'll not take anything. a look at it. So, take a look. But once we get back in our home, the duck call room, we will break down. We will pull out all the snacks. We will break down the bracket. And I just really feel like we need Mr. Goblin. Uh oh, here, boy. boy. There's, bracket. there's a spreadsheet, baby. I made a spreadsheet of he snacks. You made a spreadsheet. But Christmas tree cakes. How many seeds did you go up to? Oh, we we I got a sixty-four man bracket. Oh, you got a sixty-four man bracket. We might have to have playing bracket, games. Boys. Okay. No. Nah. Peeps, Phil. What three C? No, sixteen for sure. It's just because they won their conference against freaking sorry. And they accidentally won a play-in game. Yeah. Or it's like goodness. Cadbury cream eggs or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not FDU, so <laughs> they're not going to make a run. They ain't making a run. Um, you want to send us out of here? Also, Slim Jim's a one seed. Yeah, let me find a Bible verse real fast. I'm in this like new weird spot where I don't know how to sit and I don't know how to work a lot. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know how to work this laptop <laughs> with it being in my lap. Below well, you. Well, since you're, you're uh, what, uncle? Yep. Uncle done yeah. such a fabulous job he Sunday. He sure did. Mm -hmm. why, why not something about living water? Living water. Since, hey, oh, we all got to have water, okay? Mm -hmm. For there to be life. Water for there to be. Okay. okay. You, hey, if you but, just keep talking, I'll find a Bible no. verse. Uh, 
you know, the God, God has a purpose for each and every one of us. You need to look into that. Maybe your purpose is that you will become a spring of living water to other people. I like yeah, I hate that. we missed having Mac on the podcast. Uh, I didn't know he was in town until yeah. later. He yeah. sneaks in, he preaches, hey, he sneaks out. On our way back from London, me and Lisa ran into Mac and Mary at the airport. Uncle. And then, then, then they were calling a Robertson. Uh, Robertson, please come to the front. And I was like, "Who? it's got to be somebody I know. Flying from Monroe, I mean, two Mon- from Dallas yeah. to Monroe. And I walked up and I said, is it Willie or Jep or Jace? Because I'll just call him. She was like, no, this is uh, some other Robertson. It's so like there's it was Corey. Ah. I saw her when she walked up. <laughs> oh, Corey. All right. Jo- you ready? Yeah. There was a woman at the well. Uh-oh. Uh, John yeah. 4, 13 and 14. Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Nice. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen to that. Get you a sip of that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> put, put this in your pipe and That's smoke right. It. That's yeah. right. Get you a sip of that. <laughs> we'll see I, y'all. We'll see y'all next time with hopefully back in our home. But next time you never know. Down. We may next time we may be in this the kitchen. This makes me think about a lion. The kitchen. Bruh. The main. Yeah. Oh, here we go. If we go in the well, kitchen, it does. All it's we're made of. Do is probably, all right, we're had one. Are we really? I wish I had one. <laughs>